Mr. Vojtech Libera. Sorry, Vojtech, I do beg your pardon, Steve. Um, Mr. Bilal Irshad. Mr. Christoph Patz. Mr. Damian Polubniak. Mr. Mohamed Sahail, Ms. Anna Bill, and Mr. Uga Ibrahim. Thank you. There'll be more of you that don't know me. Oh, so yeah. um, my name's Duncan Said. I've only been here for about three, four weeks, at the end of my fourth week uh, as the Superintendent Ops. Um, and this citation is always, always good if the microphone continues to work, um, because the members of the public are involved. And it's nice that we recognise the help that members of the public give to us. The details are that on the 18th of November 2016, uh, these members of the public were working in Evening Broadway Shopping Centre, and also working in the shopping centre was a PC Elliot who was conducting his patrol. The calm routine of the shopping centre was broken when staff from Tesco frantically called over to PC Elliot, stating that a man was leaving their shop with two bottles of vodka, for which, not unsurprisingly, he hadn't paid. P.C. Elliott approached the shoplifter and attempted to stop him, and what should have been a routine and low-level incident quickly spiralled out of control as the shoplifter lunged for P.C. Elliott and nearly pushed him over. P.C. Elliott lost his handcuffs, his hat and his CS gas as he wrestled and struggled to arrest the shoplifter. And the situation then became more serious as the officer was punched several times in the body and became trapped in a headlock. He pressed his emergency button on his radio, calling for other police units to come and assist him. However, on seeing the struggle and that P.C. Elliott was in a life-threatening situation with no regard to their own safety, these members of, the, um, of staff, members of the public, bravely stepped forward and became involved in the struggle. At times they were exposed to and risked serious injury to themselves, but they co courageously persevered. The shoplifter was slightly built, but powerful and strong, and required the efforts of all these members of staff to eventually detain and handcuff him. The situation was very challenging and dangerous for a time, and yet they showed courage and public spirit in the face of danger. The shoplifter was eventually arrested and taken to the police station where he was later charged. PC Elliott remains eternally grateful to these individuals. Their intervention, intervention saved him from serious injury and ensured that a violent offender will now face justice. Chief Superintendent Martin, I commend these members of the public to you for their bravery, courage, and public spiritedness in saving an officer who was under attack and assisting in the arrest of a violent criminal. <laughs>